For today's five minute look, we're gonna be looking at the 2019 film, The Lighthouse, and get into those black and white feels. Starting with some technical details, this was shot on 35 millimeter film on Panavision Panaflex Millennium XL2 cameras. It, they also use some really old lenses from the 30s, so they have some really interesting effects going on. And the colorist was Joe Goller out of the Harbor Picture Company. He has some great movies on his resume. For this, I'm gonna be using a clip from a music video I shot last year on my Blackmagic Pocket 4K. I used Blackmagic RAW 12 to 1 compression, so that's what we'll be using today. What I want to do first is I want to get us in the Rec 709 color space, and the way I'm going to do that today is by going into our LUTs, grabbing the Blackmagic Design 4K film to Rec 709 because I shot this in Blackmagic RAW, but you use whatever works for your particular camera. Now, to get into a black and white look, what I want to do is I want to go into my RGB mixer, click monochrome here, and what that does is it makes it monochrome. You get a grayscale image, so no saturation going on. But you have different outputs, and this indicates your red, your green, and your blue output. And what I wanna do is I wanna get my red output a little bit higher and bring down my green output. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to make the skin a little bit brighter. If you look back to our images from the lighthouse, you notice that the skin is actually fairly bright in the image in comparison to everything else. So that's one thing I really wanna hold on to that I think brings this look together. Now, jumping into our next node, what I wanna do is I wanna bring up the contrast. I'm gonna bring that up to, let's say 1.2. And I wanna bring down my gamma a little bit. And I really wanna just establish from the jump this kind of nice dark look. Later on, we will worry about crushing our blacks, but for right now, this kind of gets us in the ballpark. Now, Using those old lenses that they used, they really got a nice kind of gritty look out of the actors and they used lots of hard lights and it was really quite nice. Now in this particular shot, I didn't have any of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some mid-tone detail into the shot to give us a little more grit. And it's also helpful because Blackmagic Raw isn't sharpened straight out of the camera. So let's see if we can add a little bit of grit to the image here. Perfect, that's great. Now, we're gonna go in and we're going to address this light source. So if you notice, this is quite bright. It's actually even off my scopes right now. And I wanna get that back because if we look at this light source here, we notice that it's only at like 768. So we have to get quite a bit of that back to, uh, to just match the exposure levels of the image. So let's get into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my curves, make sure I have editable splines clicked, and then I just wanna bring this down, way, way, way down. Okay, great. And then, I'm just gonna curve that up just so I don't lose everything, so I can kinda of flatten everything out up at the top. Great. Cause I don't want anything particularly hot, right? I just want it to sit around the same spot. So this brightness is the same as this brightness which really, it, it comes closer to matching um, the original from the lighthouse, which is great. So now we wanna go into our next node and we wanna worry about crushing the blacks now. So let's bring our shadows down quite a bit. We're gonna bring our mid tone down a little bit. And there, we're getting much closer now. I think I'm gonna go back to that first node and bring my gamma down just a little bit more. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Now to kind of top things off, I'm going to add some film grain onto the image here. I'm gonna go with a 16 millimeter. Now we get a little bit of grit on there and it gets us pretty close to the look from the movie The Lighthouse. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and get subscribed for more content like this. If there's any particular movies you wanna see me do a five minute grade of, just let me know down in the comments below. Okay, see ya.